what's up everybody it's Morja, and we're back back yeah what's up everybody it's Morja, <laughs> and we're back at black and mail Nicole. order lips you should have I'm, spent money on the good stuff but no you cheat it you. out you have I'm, mail order lips you have to be careful which company you get it from i yes. keep trying to tell people <laughs> no one listens to me no one listens that's the issue. I'm telling you, you know, I'm gonna skip the intro. We're gonna just go straight to it. So I got <laughs> so I so for those who have been watching my um my Instagram, there's Miss Sharon Catherine Brown uh, slash blanks, uh who has no always... no 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 okay Sharon we're, we're, Catherine we're... Brown Sharon Catherine Brown okay single all right. I'm single oh, y'all edit oh, edit that part out so <laughs> no you no keep it in okay. life is life keep okay. it in no I'm I just I just want to correct you because yes ma'am like as Tina Turner would say I got my name back that's it that's it <laughs> that's that is all so I true. wanted did you watch the series or the, the documentary that she had I did that thing was I, so crazy I have to tell you um I I definitely because I am fortunate enough to have worked with her uh and she's um, as a matter of fact, because I'm not just a Broadway chick, I'm a rocker chick. And yeah. when I had my rock band, Roger Davies was instrumental in helping me get the first gig for our band, for yeah. my for my band. And um, Tina is, I have an incredible story about that, uh, how I'm on the soundtrack for the What's Love Got to Do With It. Um, <sighs> uh album cd what what we don't have albums anymore but uh and so this goes all the way back she's she's amazing but but michael peters was like my godfather he's okay. the choreographer for thriller and beat it and won the tony co uh, okay. co choreographed dream girls on broadway and yeah you know literally i've known him he's not around anymore but he revolutionized choreography in video and his steps i can assure you yeah. the ones that you know are his because yeah. i know it's like it's michael jackson yeah. they, it's it's the most copied choreography in every movie yes, that you keep seeing is. people do the thriller thing and all this stuff which he did i i watched him do that way before those videos those wow. those moves so he was always like pulling me into stuff you know because that was his baby you know yeah. and and so Michael's like, you know, I'm working on uh, the Tina Turner movie. You want you want to come meet Tina? But I had just finished rehearsing, and so I looked, you know, ratchet. You know, for, <laughs> for me, ratchet. I got you. I don't like to to meet. You know, <laughs> I'm not in the habit of meeting legends when I stank. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to meet Tina Turner looking like this. You know, right. All yuck, and he's like all right and then he turned around and he was like you know what child come over here like this he said he goes come meet tina it's yeah like that was a god thing because he just normally he would have just said okay another time yeah because my mom was picking me up and so um he took me into where they were recording like disco inferno and all of the where they were recording her stuff wow. for the movie right yeah. so i'm listening and i'm you know i just in awe of the fact that she if she's coming to the studio to to record i'm breathing the air that tina turner breathed and will breathe in a second she's yeah. gonna be and so i'm like oh you know yeah. fangirling out so he said yeah 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 and and he was like can she do the scratch vocal because all the musicians are like we cannot do this even the scratch vocal our yeah. voice is too deep blah 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 and i know I, uh, so I did the scratch vocal to disco inferno when roger davies walked in i mean it's hey, like a story you could only see in a movie yeah. and then roger was like can she can she stay and michael was like answer me oh, yeah, she yes she could stay yeah I, mean, <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't even realize this was going on michael was like yes she could stay <laughs> she did and so that's how I I got to to be on the soundtrack and meet her and she's so warm and loving. Yeah. I mean, she didn't just get this this was a regular beat down. You know, the most abuse that we're used to hearing about with domestic domestic violence, she experienced that and still became a superstar. Yeah. So God. I have nothing but um such re respect for for 
for her. And, you know, to answer your question, like nine hours ago, yes, I saw the documentary. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. No. Theater but... girls tend to ramble. <laughs> 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 is that how you got started with your acting career or was it even i guess oh yeah that. okay quite literally a broadway baby quite literally okay. first the okay. first major street i ever rode down from my mom tells the story that my mom is so funny she tells the story but it's true it's funnier because it's true yeah my mom says first street we we ever that you ever went down after like coming home from the hospital your father and i was broadway she said, but what you else way. you need to know is you were born with jazz hands. She said, I came out of the womb <laughs> doing this. She said, babies don't uh, really do that right away. Yeah. And she said, she said, you, she said, my, you had jazz hands out of my womb. And I was like, well, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love that. And so mm -hmm. we got to get to this a different world thing. How did that <laughs> 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 How did it happen? It, it, makes, you, it makes me laugh. Your laughter <laughs> is really makes the clip more than what the three of us are doing. It's your reaction to me. Oh. It makes you know what's interesting, and I, I'm so I'm so grateful for this. Uh Dawn Lewis, it's her favorite episode too. Really? And, uh, and yeah, because when she told me that, I said, that's really something that you were a regular cast member and yeah. that was your favorite she had so many incredible episodes but um it i think it was just the perfect marriage of the script to the three of us like it played to our strengths um yeah. debbie has known me for a, a, forever and debbie allen tends to yeah let me just go off on my own i've done okay. several projects with her and she's always like just go <laughs> the only thing that she doesn't let me do is like stunts and things ah. she says she says i'm so like willing to jump off things that we did this <laughs> one this one project and we were breaking for lunch and it didn't end up happening, but she was thinking about using a trampoline in, a, in this particular scene. Oh. And as we were all leaving for lunch, she <laughs> looked back at everybody and went, don't let her go near this. Because <laughs> and I was so busted because it was exactly what I was going to do right. on my break. Right. I was like, oh, she's thinking about maybe using it. Let me see if I can do this. She's like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, she just lets me have the run of whatever. So that was just so over the top. And there's an Instagram, uh, there's an Instagram account. I'm so embarrassed to say this. <laughs> Therefore, it celebrates black not yeah. just black women in opera serious like serious yes and i'm on the edge, really you know? i'm, I'm gonna like, go find that it's so <laughs> so embarrassing because i'm like right about now everybody who's a real opera singer is uh, like are you kidding me no oh are you kidding me no you know <laughs> just hating me just hating me i i, I said i'm both yeah, but so good. And, and, like, it was so good. Now, okay, so was that okay? How when you were looking at this scene, how was it planned? And well, actually, let's backtrack. Did you go to school for music? I am classically trained as an actress. I did. I never went to school for music or voice. Uh, that is, I never, I never did that. I have been working <laughs> since I was three and a half, and at the time, because I was so young voice teachers would always say not yet yep, you know yep, not yet this will be. but then i was just often um and also i've always considered myself to be an actress first and so i know that okay. because of certain things i've done like effie and dream girls and all this stuff i understand that i'm like really known for my voice as well but that's not the way i see me i, I don't you. see me that way yeah. i don't think of it that in those terms and, yeah. and for so much of my life singing was like i just want to act you know yeah. they get all these musicals <laughs> i'm not an actress you're always so over 
uber serious when you're you know, younger. <laughs> and it's true. It, it's, it's so like, true. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to even yeah. do that scene, like, I, there is no way I, I could have kept it together in that scene. Even, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> How was it for you whenever y'all were actually, how was it for you just even learning that part? Like how much is yours? How much is uh, Debbie's and yeah. I I can say so much of it is mine only okay. because of the freedom that Debbie okay. Allen is. She's that wonderful. Yeah. She, she knows what she's dealing with and that's the reason why you got the job. Cause yeah. she, she hires me to do the Sharon Catherine Brown thing that she gotcha. knows. I, so you, you have obviously we're in a framework, but you you have that freedom to go. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little over the top. Yeah. I'm gonna go over the top. I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna do. Yeah. So, um, it was just it was just so much fun, and and they, I I find that Jasmine, I laugh at that scene for what Jasmine is doing, as if I've never seen it before, as if I've never been a part uh. of. It. And the same for Dawn. I just think it was something that clicked because they they genuinely when I when I've seen it mm -hmm. because someone is always posting it and someone is always sending it to me. Yeah. So I'm always like getting yeah. it and and the same for them. A few uh, months ago, I I text uh, Dawn. We we text back and forth, and I was like, what? It's still <laughs> popular. What, like people are still on. sending it to me. It's amazing, you know. So we 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 got it's a little something in the works. We're possibly going to do uh, okay. the three of us. We're we're talking about oh it. Oh my gosh, we're talking about it. We're okay. just talking. We're just talking. We just talked about it. We we like the framework of just a little. Let me know. Like we, I, I will find. I out. definitely will. I definitely <laughs> no. I definitely will because uh, you know just really to to in, to say thank you for. You know, that's like a spinning plate that fans of the yeah. show just keep spinning and keep spinning. And I don't take that for granted. I think that's yeah. amazing. And because I'm also a fan of certain things. Yeah. And I know what that's like when something like catch, gets my funny bone and I just never forget yeah. it. And it's always present. So yeah. to be a part of that for somebody else is amazing to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was, it was funny for the other people that were in the show. Uh, that in that episode yeah they they got a kick out of out of it as well and and what we were doing and, and genuinely that you know there's a lot of uh students the actors that are playing students yeah that you see when they do the gladys knight thing when we yes. when when it switches over and she's yeah. no longer in the opera exactly. when you realize oh you bamboozled us you're not just an <laughs> opera singer and they were genuinely che cheering for me that was a genuine reaction oh, that was genuine from everybody your show is so good and i listened to a couple of episodes and the 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 lady that is the real estate mo mogul that was talking about buying yes. the town yes when she mentioned, uh, I think it was her that mentioned good times. I, I there's uh -huh. so many times that people yep. mention good times around me, oh, or something uh -huh. will happen. They'll go down, down. Yeah, down. They, they have no idea, <laughs> like my relationship to the show or anybody. And it just makes uh. see, that's another one of the things that makes me laugh. And then when they find out, they lose their minds. <laughs> like so funny. <laughs> Yeah, Bookman is uh, the, the Johnny Brown who played Bookman yeah. is my dad. He's the first person in his family in show business, but on my mom's side, I think I'm fifth generation. Oh. So really to just grow up in that household um, is for my brother and I such a blessing because we, we our family is, is absolutely insane. We, if, you, if you ever had like a dinner with, with us, you mm. would be like, Oh, so this doesn't just happen in movies. Like, really, people do break out with the song. I thought that was just in, I love in it. Hollywood movies, but you guys really do break out in the song <laughs> at any time. Yeah. What's, what's in the world for you now? Like, what are you working on? I'm working on how much of this can I? Yeah, that, that you can disclose. How much of this can I say? It's not that I can't say it. I just don't usually say stuff before. Uh, it's I a, 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 a you will be seeing me on tv soon how about that i'll just gotcha. say that all right okay we'll that's that. all i'll say yes <laughs> that's what i'll say i get it because you know i'm usually the kind of guy where i like to keep things uh quiet until it's sealed until the deal is sealed because um, well, i've said stuff before where it then went wah wah 
And I'm yeah. like, I should have just kept my mouth shut. I don't feel I like doing all this explanation of why I'm it didn't right. work out. I don't want to. <laughs> d- there's no dignity in that. You know, there's just no dignity. You know what that's like? That's like making a really great exit, but then you uh, forgot your umbrella and you have to go back truth. in. And you're like, that's the truth. ah, this is so good if I didn't have to go back. This is so good. It just waters down the whole situation. Of course, because it's that first take, basically. And you're like, well, yeah. it's never going to be that good again. Now you just have to walk out with your shoulders a little hushed. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take, uh, take a little detour for a second. What's your favorite color? pink <laughs> really okay yeah. okay it is yeah pink okay All i right. know it i know okay. grow up brown <laughs> i know i know um what's your okay who's on your playlist now oh we don't have that kind of time oh <laughs> my playlist no re- really my playlists are very long uh, i noticed your wall in the back and uh-huh. that it, that would that would come close. Okay. I notice how diverse your what uh-huh. that would come close because you have to understand, like I said, I don't always make playlists of okay, this is this. I do have those. Yeah. I have like my my uh, that's my jam with stuff like old stuff, and I have my jazz list, but I but my playlists of things that like when I'm on the treadmill and stuff that I want to, yeah, I create like a mood that could be biggie. Yeah. Metallica yep. in in and it could be in that order. It yep. could be Miles Davis, then Miles Davis, yes. J- yes, kind of blue. Come on. Come yeah. on, fam. Somebody with you know what I mean? I don't know how I forgot about him. Okay. But then it could go to Andy Williams because mm. that that man can sing. And but then it could go to uh Bobby Cal- Caldwell. I just added him to my list. I have lived my entire life thinking that was a black man singing in mm. my world only you got a thing for you I know. got a thing for I know. love and I, I know i just I, didn't I saw, I saw know. the video on youtube i was like y'all gotta be kidding me it, it never occurred to me <sighs> and, there, and i was like oh I, I have to i have to add this so you know i have he come to the cookout bed, bed midler i i mean he he already snuck in. We yeah. just didn't know he had been in the cookout. He, he, was there, he was over there handling the grill. We just didn't know. We he was serving greens. We just didn't know it. <laughs> Your show is really really enjoyable to listen to and educational. Thank you. And uh, I'm honored that you that you asked me to be a guest. And it's honored and flattered. And I think you're doing such a great great not only job with your show, but I think that the way you're living your life is so inspiring and wonderful and not to get heavy but to speak to you as a black male in this crazy climate yeah i just want to encourage you and lift you up in in prayer because i don't care what nobody else believes in but i win every battle on my knees there's Uh, nothing about me that you like or think you like that i have anything to do with i'm just so I lift you up in prayer because I, I think that what you're doing uh, with your life is incredible and you're, the goals that you have. And I think uh, instead of, like I said, we're in everybody's business and everybody just loves to talk about everybody. It's like, just let's, stop, let's just lift each other up. Yeah. For everybody who's watching, listen, you all, please, if you have not watched A Different World, I will put in the details what episode you need to go watch um if you are easy to laugh <laughs> make sure that she has some kleenex nearby like i did because i will cry yeah, that's laughing. so funny um but you know miss <laughs> sharon Catherine brown or miss sharon brown i'm gonna just say miss brown uh thank you thank you <laughs> thank you thank you so much yes ma'am and so are right, you all everyone has a great day talk to you soon <laughs>